What's up guys, thanks for joining me. Today I want to do a quick video on the install of this TBS Tango 2 module bay and also the TBS multi-protocol module. I got both of mine from Pyrodrone and I will leave links in the description down below. Uh, do a quick look at this module. Looks really nice, has this clear gray smoke cover. You can really kind of see through and see the uh, components inside. And it just comes with a regular folding antenna. Nothing crazy there. And what comes in the bay kit is the actual bay itself. It just has some double-sided tape. Actually sticks onto the back of the radio like that. And it comes with this little cover for the board. This board right here with the pins and two screws and also the ribbon cable. I already put this in, I was just trying to see how it works and uh, show you guys. You have the blue side up and you slide it in there just like that. And you snap down the cover to lock it in place. And um, just wanted to go over really what where this is supposed to go because different ways people are installing it on their videos. So I just wanted to show you the actual instruction show. I noticed this little slot right here there's a little hole right there that, that the ribbon cable is supposed to go into. And uh, just like this. Right there. And if you notice, let me pull this out real quick. Where it mounts onto the back of the radio. Just like that. It's at the very bottom. So what I'm seeing is a lot of people are installing it. And they're either sticking this on or using it as a, a marker and then they drill a hole or burn a hole right through there with their solder gun and that's not so where it's supposed to go actually it's supposed to go right here and it's already outlined for us right there there's two arrows pointing to the slot outline and that's where you're supposed to either cut or dremel or burn with your solder gun and that actually lines up perfectly with where that slot is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and um, dremel this, but real quick I wanna show you guys where the screws are to take this uh, back cover off. First you have to take these off, and they just pop right off actually. You don't really need any tools. As you can see, they just kinda go into those little slots. And what I did to get mine off, I just pried right here onto the edge and it, they, it just pops off. You don't really need a special tool, but if you work on that corner, it comes out pretty easy. And then the screws to get this back cover off, there's six of them, I have them out right here. They're basically right there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, next step, I'm gonna go ahead and dremel this out, and I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done. All right, guys, I want to show you the Dremel bits I used to cut out that slot. These work pretty good. Took me about 10 minutes. Uh, might be quicker to use a solder gun, but this is the result of using a Dremel. It's not perfect, but it's much smoother than cutting or burning a hole through there. So here we go. I'm going to keep on going. Put the ribbon cable through. I just want to show you real quick where the other end of the ribbon cable goes it is right in there so it's probably best to take the battery off it does have Duralock super strong velcro type for this purpose I'm just going to go ahead and take the battery off it's just a connector but basically now I'm going to see how this lines up with the bay like that before I actually stick it on there we go, just holding it on pretty much where it's going to mount. And yeah, the ribbon cable pretty much goes right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on here. And um, I'm going to do it without this on yet. And I'm going to grab alcohol prep pad for that get one of these guys 
lens cleaning wipe. Does the trick for me all the time when I'm using it to use double sided tape. All right. Peel these off. All right. Get that off. Just gonna line it up. Feels good right there. And just give it a little bit of a push to snug it on there. And that adhesive will basically lock in. So yeah, that's pretty solid on there. Looks like it was, it came with it. Very nice fit and finish here. Just make sure you line up right along the edges here. I got lucky and got it on nice and straight. So, let me slide this in here. And, oh, it missed the hole. Look at that. <laughs> Take the ribbon cable and kind of roll it a little bit so it's kind of facing that direction and oh there we go get it right in there and now I can pretty much mount this permanently or just screw it down basically but yeah probably not ever gonna come off Screw that down. Just finger tight. Remember, it's just plastic holding it in. So don't over tighten it or it will strip. Just like that. Finger tight. All right. And there we go. So this is going to be first attempt. I haven't tried putting this on. But it's going to slide right in here. And it also has that locking down snap cover there. Blue side up. So I'm going to have to put this down like that. See if I can even see anymore. I don't know if it's hard to do it. Oh, I got it in there actually already. Look at that. Okay, so it's pretty much in there, guys. I'm just going to hit go ahead and snap it down it's really hard to do on camera but okay so I got that in there while I have it in just gonna mount the battery there we go slide the battery in and then kind of tilt this up just lining up the Duralock is it called there you go, and it locked in. Can't really see in there, but it's locked into place, and the ribbon cable's in place. So I'm kind of just gonna tuck the excess kind of in a loop like that above the battery. See how it kind of went up behind the battery there. And I'm just gonna slowly snap it together. Look at that. Okay, everything looks good. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the screws in. Okay. Appreciate you guys sticking with me. The install's going pretty sweet here. If you guys are liking it so far, please throw me a thumbs up down there and possibly sub if you're not subbed yet. All right, let me put these grips on before I do anything else. And these just kind of snap in, bend it in. Start with the top here. All right. Okay. 
there you go just kind of just snaps in it's molded exactly to fit so it goes on just work on it a little bit snap them in there this one yep there we go all right so i'm not sure i guess the only way to find out let me make sure i put the antenna on here i'm not sure if it damages it without when you power it up without the antenna but go ahead and mount this on nice snaps right in there guys and it does make it a little bit thicker i guess this way Oop. this little piece of rubber here didn't snap all the way in there so when you put it down, it's kind of going to rest on the module now. So I guess when putting it away, you might want to take that off. Might be the easier way to go. But anyway, moment of truth. <laughs> Let me snap it on and turn this thing on. Let's see what happens. Welcome to Tango 2. Throttle warning. Switch warning. All right. Let's make sure there's power on this thing. Yeesh, it's not lit. Oh boy. So I didn't look at how to turn that thing on. I'm just gonna try to muddle through it real quick here. I'm gonna go to menu. I'm gonna try to put the external RF. If that helps. I'm gonna turn that external RF on to multi and there's some settings there all I want to do is flip this over and see this thing is lit yes it's lit okay so I did something right I will oops I will bind this up to something like a whoop or something and I'm not sure how I'm gonna can't really use the kickstand anymore no <laughs> Not so much with this module on. It kind of just balances on the module. So you got to kind of be careful of that when you put it down. I'm going to come up with some kind of a stand now. But yeah, that's it guys. I turned on the module. So let me go back and shut that off. Because and it's right here. Right here where it says external RF mode you would click here and I'm gonna shut that back off so all the choices there's the multi we want for multi module but I'm gonna turn it to off there we go and it's off so there we go guys I will definitely leave, leave links in the description for these two items. And stay tuned. I have not flown an actual quadcopter yet with this uh, radio. Uh, I did try the simulator. I'm going to do the outro with that video. Haven't used um, the actually lift off. Yeah, check it out. Here we go. Let me roll that. Thanks for watching, guys. You be safe and keep on flying.